Yo, baby. Let me take you over here to uh, the other side. I think you're gonna have to be gentle. Hey, y'all. Hey, and welcome back to my channel. I am here to give you guys a review of this dip powder kit from Azure Beauty. I want to say thank you to Azure Beauty for sending me over this dip powder kit to review for my audience. And I'm just showing y'all everything that comes with the kit. You know, this kit, I feel like it's the perfect beginner dip powder kit because it comes with everything that you may need. It comes with this little sheet that tells you the color difference because sometimes you know the color is not going to look the same in the jar as it is going to look on your nails. And so I think that is the perfect little touch so that you are aware that there might be a slight color difference. And then I also love the fact that it comes with instructions that have pictures on it. Now maybe that's just my ADHD and just me being a visual type person, but I love when instruction manuals, instruction pamphlets come with actual pictures in it. Is that childish of me? If so, y'all, I don't care. Uh, let, let me be childish and let me live in my own delusions. So it does come with that nice little nail buffer. It comes with a little brush to go ahead and brush the powder off. And it also comes with this little tub that you can just dunk your nail in. Now, y'all, I didn't use this. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't dunk my nail in it. But it does come with that if you do want that option. And it comes with the four steps. The, um glue the activator the brush saver as well as the top coat and those are the things that I am struggling with pulling out of the container right here I should have pulled them out already but I want to make sure that everything stay nice and neat for you guys so that's why I'm pulling them out one by one so nothing gets you know misplaced and it also comes with two extra brushes which I feel like is really really nice because sometimes doing dip nails you will get that hardening of your brush now the dip powder colors don't have actual names on them they just have numbers so I'm not gonna go through each one but I am just you know showing you each color so that you guys are aware of the different colors that you do receive in this kit okay now on to the fun stuff you guys we are about to get ready to apply these dip nails if you've never applied dip nails before i do highly recommend reading the instructions so that you know the different steps that you need to take as far as prep and as far as just knowing how to properly place the dip nails on now these nail kits I, these nail tips not nail kits these nail tips i did order off of amazon and i'll leave a link down below for these nail tips they're just standard regular straight long nail tips i won't be keeping the nails long but i do like these nail tips because you are able to keep a nice long length if long nails are your speed i love long nails but i'm not doing long nails right now i want a nice short simple set you know straight no chaser short simple square set but these nail tips do give you that option to keep your nails long and square if that is something that you want to do now i cut my nails down to the desired length and i am using that nail file that came in the nail kit just to go ahead and shape my nails up before i start with the dip process
Now this kit did not include a dehydrator and a primer, but I do suggest that you guys get a dehydrator and a primer if you plan on wearing your nails for a long time like I do. I plan on keeping my nails on for a while. Anytime you guys see me do a set, I keep those nails on for two to three weeks. No less than two weeks is how long I keep my nails on. That's just me. I like, you know, when I do my nails, I like to get my, my full wear out of them. But in order to make sure that your nails stay on for as long as you want them to, or at least the amount of time that I keep them on for, you do need a primer and a dehydrator. And the one that I'm using in this particular video is from Moravon. And y'all know, I'll leave a link down to them down below in the description box. And y'all, I'm just starting out with using the yellow dip powder and these tips the, the, this process that you guys see me doing in this video is a process that I learned from long hair pretty nails hey girl hey hey Evie girl you know I love you I saw her process on how to you how to apply dip powder nails y'all I don't know why it seems like I can't talk today but I saw a couple of her videos on how to you know apply dip powder nails and to make sure that you don't get that that super straight look on your nails when it comes down to doing dip powder so i'm taking her tips and i'm using that to make sure that my dip powder nails you know have a nice apex and they're also not too thick and not too thin so the method that you see me guys using here is also a method that i learned from evie I like to give credit where credit is due you guys so yes I am and I'm also making sure that I'm using multiple colors out of this dip powder kit just so that you can see how each color is going to look on the nail because just like that paper that comes in the kit says a lot of these colors sometimes look different than what they do in the jar on your nail so that's why I'm using an array of colors and plus I just felt like being very colorful with my nails so I am going to shut up stop rambling because I do feel like I'm rambling and let you guys enjoy the rest of the application process of me doing my nails
now that the dip nails have been laid down as you can see the thickness of the nails that they're all set it is activator time and y'all have to make sure that you saturate each and every nail with this activator you have to saturate the entire top part of the nail as well as the tip of the nail so that when you go in and start filing that you won't hit those gummy areas let's go ahead and set everything into place and make sure that everything is dry so that you can file and shape your nails Now using that little file earlier to shape up my nail tips was cool and all, but y'all, my hand's starting to hurt. So I pulled out one of my big nail files that I got off of Amazon and I'm just tapping on each nail just to make sure that they are hard and that they are ready for me to go ahead and file. And with dip powder nails, they're, I won't say that they're soft, but they're, they're easy to the point where you can file them using a hand file and you don't necessarily have to go in with a nail drill but I went in with a nail drill just to you know seal the cuticle and I'm not gonna lie I got a little bit lazy it's okay but I do have this nail drill on a low setting so it's not doing too much filing but I just wanted to make sure that my cuticles are sealed and just just from me using dip powder nail kits you don't necessarily have to have a drill but again i pulled out my drill because i got lazy and i want to make sure i sealed the cuticle but you see i was going back and forth with my hand file as well as with the nail drill use the nail drill to seal the cuticle but for the most part i did use my hand file to file don't think i'm contradicting myself because i'm not you don't have to have a nail drill in order to do dip powder nails. I just used it to seal my cuticles. Now you can seal with a hand file, but I got lazy. And when you get lazy, you take shortcuts. So for me, pulling at that drill was a shortcut. After filing and buffing my nails, I used that top coat that came with the kit and this is the finished look. Yes, I did add some oil to my cuticles as well as oil to my hands. That's why they are no longer ashy. I know you guys was wondering, oh, her hands ain't ashy no more. That's because I moisturize. Okay. Okay. I will leave the link down below in the description box for this nail kit. It is an Amazon exclusive, so if you do have Amazon Prime, you know you can get that thing in two-day shipping. I want to say thank you to Azure Beauty for sending me over this nail kit to review for you guys. I also want to say thank you to you guys for bearing with me on the times where I take a hiatus for producing content. But y'all still come back and watch me. And I truly appreciate that. From the very, very bottom of my heart, I truly appreciate that, you guys. I want to say thank you for coming through. And not only watching this video, but watching the other videos that I have here on my channel. Y'all the real MVPs for that, okay? Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to join this tribe.
and also hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post. Alright y'all, bye! Looking at your body, body. God is Aphrodite. Heard you got that water, baby, can you come and drown me? I can